Hello YouTube friends, Hello. I'm here with Anna today. Anna's my daughter-in-law. I think you might have met her when we've been in the shipping room or doing various things. Over the years since I've known Anna, uh, we've made two or three quilts together, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Not many and quite simple ones. Yeah, and two were um, for children, so like little Very small. <laughs> <laughs> so you made a quilt for your nephew. Yeah. And uh, I helped you make one for your mum, but I think that's the mm. thing. I've always helped you make them, haven't I? Yes. And so what Anna and I are thinking about now is that I'd like to give her the skills that she needs so that whenever she feels like she wants to make a quilt in the future, you've got all those tips and tricks and uh, so yeah. that you can just go get on with it by yourself. Yeah, it'd be great. So what's kind, what is going to motivate you to want to do this, Anna? Um, well, I've been thinking about this one for a long time because the last time I made one was the one I made for my mum, which was like two, two years, years ago, two, maybe more, maybe three. Could have been. Yeah, it was a good while. Yeah. Well, it was for it was for a significant birthday, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. So you'd be able to work it out from that, Anna. If I could remember her I current remember age. Her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's make her younger than she is. <laughs> it was last year. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think it was three years ago. Hmm. Um, so I've been, but I've been thinking about this one and planning this one for a little while since the Little Women film came out. And that's it. And so we were talking when we were thinking about putting this together about what inspires anyone to make a quilt. And I think one of the massive inspirations is all the wonderful quilts that there already are out there. Mm -hmm. And so you went, you went to see Little Women, didn't you? Yeah, and there's not like a specific quilt scene but just all through the the house, there's just beautiful fabrics mm. and quilts everywhere, all in the sorts of colours I like, the sort of, mm. you know, darker, like, rustier colours. Yeah. And and that's another thing, isn't it, is what you're drawn to. Because for yeah. me, uh, if a quilt doesn't knock your eyes out, then this it has yeah. failed in its purpose. <laughs> uh, not subtle. Somebody yeah. once said to me, nothing you do could ever be described as subtle, Kate. And it couldn't. Yeah. Because I do like massive colour. Just to point out before we go any further... This on the back wall here on my design board is one of the quilts my mum made that I had quilted. You and I went up to Caths, didn't mm. we, at the Long Arm Quilters in Scotland. And that's that's up there at the moment because I'm doing the binding for all those quilts. So the quilts will change on the backboard here during this series. So talk to me a bit about the Little Women quilts. In fact, let's just say right from the start that you what you've got is a Pinterest board. Yes. Yeah, now I've got a few quilts, Pinterest boards, but this one is a specific Little Women quilts, Pinterest board. Uh, is this it? Yeah, and... Uh, oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. It's in messages. So can... it's, okay, sorry about this, guys. <laughs> we'll find it for us. There, now. I won't touch it. Okay. And I haven't added anything to, to this for a while, so it's quite interesting having a look. Um, and they're all very different, aren't they? It's sort of like little, little bits from... I think... The sense I get, though, mm. is the style and the colours and the yeah. form. Mm -hmm. um, I get that thought and that idea from you. That yeah. one's a lovely yeah. picture, for instance. That's um, Courthouse Step. Is that Courthouse Step? Well done. Oh, <laughs> you see, Anna's edited enough of my videos to know what these quilt blocks are now. Yeah. I am proud, Anna. <laughs> But that video, that one is Courthouse Steps. Yeah. Well done. She wasn't reading it underneath either. No, I promise I wasn't. No. <laughs> so what we've got here then is a whole heap of images and ideas. And I, mm. a quilt that I made late last year, 2021, was a Courthouse Steps block. Do you mm. remember I dyed yeah. the indigo fabric for it? And I made it over on Patreon. And that's gone to its new owner now. And uh, that was a courthouse steps block. Yeah, I really like it. Mm, I did. I really enjoyed making it too. Now, in making that block, it's given me some ideas for some other ways that I would like to take that same block. And that's quite an interesting idea. Mm. How to, you change up a block's colour. Uh, you use all solids, for instance, mm. or, or all blues, or mm. a mixture of everything. And it changes the look of it completely. But that Courthouse Steps quilt that I made was inspired by a television series that I really enjoyed. Oh. His Dark Materials. Oh yes, oh it was in the background wasn't it? It was, it was. And I freeze, I freeze framed it uh, and uh, there was a picture and the main character was doing something. 
you know, reading a letter, in fact it was. And I thought, I don't care what you're doing, character. I want to see what that quilt looks like. <laughs> and I, I did a screenshot, of, a couple of screenshots of it. And I, I had that on my desktop for ages. And I used that as my inspiration. So mm. I think then uh, that we can find what draws us towards mm. wanting to make a quilt. Well, my equivalent of that, and I'll, I can put a little... Yeah, put Anna's, the picture for you. Anna's guys putting to see. pictures of all of these things up. Is that still from, from yeah. Little Women? And that side. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now that's quite interesting that yeah. you're talking about that side of it. Yeah. And this wasn't by design, but in fact, the quilt behind us here, mm -hmm. this uh, string pieced block here. Is that the same thing? Yes, it is, oh, but it's okay. laid out differently. Yeah. So there's another thing. You that's can funny. make the same quilt block. But you can turn it on its side or you can turn it 180 degrees or whatever. And can you see that if yeah. that had been put alongside four more, mm -hmm. you would have made that. Right. Now, Nana made that mm. using all those amazing colours with a predominance of purples because yeah. she loved purple and ended up with that. Mm -hmm. I made that string block quilt. Do you remember the blue and yellow one? that we auctioned for Fruity oh, Knitting. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. And that one came out like that. Mm. And so however you then um, place your quilt blocks will completely mm. alter the look of the thing. That's what's so brilliant about quilting. Yeah. I love that about quilting. I really do. Yeah, it's interesting. So although we're not going to kind of um, decide for sure mm -hmm. what we might do today i think what we've got is a real intention to uh explore different quilts using different inspirations mm -hmm. and then i think in future episodes we might look at where you might get fabric from yeah and picking colors and how to put colors together and stuff that's something that's just like well, you can get really, really into the science of uh, colour wheels and, yeah. and toning colours. I think these days what fabric designers do, which is why I really like getting um, like a fat quarter bundle or a half yard bundle or something like that or mm. a jelly roll, is that you get one designer's range of that. Uh, so, for instance, mm. you, you get all of Kay Fassett's blues so they're all completely different, but they all tone and speak to one oh, another perfectly. Clever. Now, that's one way of doing it, is to buy pre-cuts like that. But mm. we don't have to buy pre-cuts. Yeah. We can, these girls, you know, the quilts from uh, Concord <laughs> would have been um, stuff, uh, clothing that had worn out and yeah. bits of fabrics that they found from flower sacks. Because mm. the f flower manufacturers got into the idea that women would buy their flower Mm -hmm. if it was packed in a bag that was printed with cotton fabric. Oh, I wish they still thought like that now. I know, I, I really do because, as well. Because it's and true, so, isn't it? Yes. I would definitely buy that So one. you go to the general stores and it would be, well, I can't buy that flower because I'm making a quilt and I need that fabric. Oh, that's genius. Why I did know. they start doing that? I know. It's a really good idea, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Flower sacks. Uh, and, and so when you think of flower sacks, you think of great big hessian things mm. or paper things. Yeah, but that's what no, I was thinking. I know, but these are smaller bags that are made with beautifully printed cotton Brilliant. that um, really, really influenced because the women who bought them to make the quilts they wanted to. Yeah. It is genius, isn't it? Yeah. So we could look to all sorts of places. Mm. I think it depends what... Because I want that feel, definitely, rather than, like, super coordinated and super... I remember when Anna saw Little Women and, uh, she, and we discussed it at length because we love discussing movies, Anna and I. And she said, I want, how do I make a quilt like the Little Women quilts? And I said, you make it 50 years ago and yeah. use it every day. And that's a really annoying thing to say, isn't it? Yeah. But it's the truth. True. Yeah. yeah. You make it 50 years ago and use it every day. But I guess an alternative would be using vintage fabrics. Do people do that? Yes. Is and that I like suppose, yeah, I guess there would be a way of, um, uh, of researching our fabric choices because you're going to be putting a lot of time and effort into this. Mm -hmm. You want to really enjoy it when you get to the end of it. Yes. Mm. So there's no point in, in just throwing any old thing together. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it takes as much effort to do it beautifully as it does to do it badly. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've got our project then. And so the, the, mm -hmm. the list of things now that we have to think about is... Uh, we need to be looking at all the inspirations. And Pinterest is a good place to do that. Yeah. Uh, Pinterest, the last Tony House has got a Pinterest board 
a, a Pinterest account. What, what would we call it? A Pinterest account, yeah. Pinterest account, uh, The Last Tony House, if you wanted to follow that. There's quite a few weird things on there, but there's <laughs> definitely some boards called Quilts I Must Make One Day. Yeah. <laughs> and another one that's about quilt blocks. Mm -hmm. Because I'm really interested in the secondary block you get. Mm. When you make a quilt block, and I know we're doing all this in the abstract, we've only got the one quilt behind us here and the pictures that Anna's putting in. But if you make a quilt block and then shift it around a bit or make a second block mm. and put it beside it, you get another you get a secondary block. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. So the thing can look really quite complicated be very very simple mm. so we've got a lot of work to do before the next episode yeah and we thought we might make this into a series so that if anybody wanted to make a quilt along with us or if you were mm. absolutely brand new to quilting and never made a quilt you can make a quilt with Anna yeah uh, and um, follow along with her choices and the discussions that we have about how she might go about making this quilt That'd it's going to be good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm excited for it. I really am. Because it's always lovely to pass on your um, passion for something to someone who's interested. And um, that's how the whole the whole thing works, is people have learnt from their grandma or their mum. Mm. Um, and now we're very lucky because we've got a lot of people out there on the internet. Uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company. I'll be getting you to watch quite a few of these. Mm. Um Bonnie Hunter, Quiltville, Just Get It Done Quilts, Karen, um, um, uh, names just gone from me a minute, Donna from Jordan Quilts, lovely, lovely, lovely woman. Uh, quite a lot of really interesting quilt channels and you'll ha you'll have your favourites, you'll know your own. Whereabouts in the world are they mostly based? They are based? all in America, those people. Well, there seems like there's American, there's a huge American mm, tradition with yeah. quilting that... Massive. Is is Huge. it much more than the UK? I would say so. Uh, I mean, there are people in the UK who are avid quilters, but there's a huge tradition of quilting in America and Canada. Yeah, huge. Mm. Not just because they printed nice flower sacks either. But, um, yeah, I mean, you go back to the... Uh, I've talked about the women of G's Bend, the, the mm. women descended from slave, slave chimes who made these fantastic improv quilts I really like by ones. hand. Yeah. You know, I mean, maybe eventually they got a little hand crank sewing machine, but you know these things were pieced mm. of necessity. They yeah. needed these things of necessity. And that would be out of old clothes and old blankets and things Absolutely. Like that. I mean, the notion of buying new fabric, cutting it up, and sewing it back together again is quite a strange one, really, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. I always used to think that when I was younger, and my mum would get excited about a new load of fabric she'd just bought. I thought well, she's just going to cut it up and sew it back together. And now I'm as hooked as she ever was. <laughs> so are you excited for this project? I am, yes. I am too. Lots to think about. Mm, lots of research to do. Mm. And next time, I think we'll be talking about um, maybe the materials you need. And I don't mean the fabric, but mm. maybe the kit you need. Uh, because you're mm. going to be able to do all of this here. Yeah. But maybe we'll talk about the equipment you need, mm -hmm. the basics that you absolute basics that you need to get started uh, with... Um, constructing a quilt because mm. those women we're talking about were cutting stuff out with scissors with without good light uh mm. you know and then stitching by hand we're going several degrees past that into accurate cutting and uh, accurate sewing and all of that mm. and so that's coming up in the next episode or the next few episodes yeah brilliant so just while we're talking about that little women quilt mm -hmm. i just wanted to point out to you that this one here, this string quilt here that my mm. mum made. What you, as a, a, a fledgling quilter, what I'm going to invite you to do mm. is look at a quilt and break it down into its individual block. Yeah. So ignore all the other blocks around it and just look at the one block. Mm. Now, the quilt that you have on your Pinterest board there is this block. Yeah. But instead of um, the strings going all the way across the block like my mum had, mm. there's a plain bit here. Yeah. And so we've got half of it uh, string pieced and half of it plain. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't position them like this, but if you position them with all the planes in the same in the same position of the block, mm -hmm. then what you'll end up with is um that look that you were looking for, which is utterly different from this. Yeah. 
It's it's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's so funny because we were just looking at that, and then the one right behind us mm. is that quilt. Yeah, I've definitely done this with you before. Yeah. The string piecing. Yeah, like a little liberty cushion. Oh right. When me and Johnny were first going out. Oh now we're still going back, back in, in the day, back in history. Yeah. Here. And we made a, qu a cushion together. Yeah, you yeah, and a, I. a tiny little because you—it's the one where you you fold mm. it and iron and then fold yes, it. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So you sew the strip on. It's a very mm. simple one to do because mm. you don't have to get too excited about your quarter-inch seam. Yeah. So your lines don't have to I think be. Think it was very wonky. Uh, but then, but then it. this is very forgiving mm. of that because if you can see this one of my mum's here, I mean, you can make all these exactly the same size, yeah. but the fun part of it is actually making them different widths. And is this this quilt technique is called string, string piecing. piecing and that's the name is that is that like the collective name yeah i guess so do you get different quilts mm. falling within that is um log cabin string piece no I, I, although oh, i get into the nuance of naming now because yeah, you do kind of guess the it folding is folding and the ironing log cabin's lovely yeah yeah i think my cushion was a log cabin would you like to make a log cabin or would you like to make a string? Oh, let's not yeah. answer that question now. Because if you if you schmoe back on on the, on the, the Pinterest, because mm. I also like all those colours in the flying goose. Well, and so that's interesting because what you're looking at there is colours, and not design. That is a completely different design to this. Yeah. And I actually a few years ago, maybe three years ago. I did a, a flying goose quilt and I did a mm. whole tutorial on that. Maybe in the end card, mm. we'll link to that flying goose tutorial. What happened to that quilt? Uh, that was, I gave that to Benice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that oh. was Benice's quilt uh, to thank her for doing a real kindness for me. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and that was very colourful and bright. Mm. But no, so there, okay, next time then, Anna, we mm. will talk about different quilt blocks. Mm hmm and because that and this have nothing to do with each other no. but what you're liking about that is the colors yeah and the combination of using um block color and, and pattern yeah and so that will we'll 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 save that for another episode mm. because there's so many exciting things to talk about there yeah so i think that's what you're enjoying about this quilt mm. is the is the colors anna i think that's quite colorful now you were saying before mm. about the would you say that's colourful? Not colourful yeah. enough for you. Oh no, that's that's fantastic. Some bright reds, some yes, golds. It's fantastic. <laughs> and that's where being really careful about curating all of this. And so I design a quilt twice, once in my head mm. and once on the design board. Yeah. When you're watching films and TV, are you like like stopping them and, and, and all the time. The pause me <laughs> and the pause button. Out. Working out. Yeah, working it out all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time interesting yeah so i think next time we've got lots to talk about mm. uh, and i'll be thinking on in the meantime and just like keep adding to your pinterest board yes because that's that. a good way to do it all mm -hmm. the ideas that you like and it doesn't matter if you think they fit together or not just collect them all together as can a big... you do two like so you see that there could i do one side like that and then one side like that with the same fabrics and then you've got like two for the price of one we can talk about all of that that would be cool. And yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Yay. Okay, so you see how excited Anna is about this. I'm excited <laughs> for her because it's lovely to pass this on, uh, you know, as an old lady like me, passing the, the, the passion for quilting on to the next generation is absolutely wonderful. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And especially if you've enjoyed it and you know somebody who's kind of Anna's generation who you think might enjoy joining in with her. Oh, do that. Yeah. That would be fun, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would be fun if, if Anna makes a whole load of new quilting yeah. friends. So sh share this video with them. That yeah, would do be that. Lovely. That'd be great. Yeah, that would be really, really great. <laughs> but give us a like and that would be marvellous. Thank you very much. And um, we look forward to seeing you for the next one uh, of these uh, little quilting yeah. with Anna series. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.